Well, good morning, Southlake family and friends. Happy and blessed Tuesday. So this month, we're reading through a psalm and a proverb daily in our devotions. And so today, let's look at Psalm 78, 7, and then Proverbs 16, 32. The psalmist says in Psalm 78, 7, so each generation should set its hope anew on God. Of course, the psalmist is saying here that it's up to each generation. Each generation has a responsibility to uh, deal with the challenges of its time by setting their hope not on other solutions, but on the only true solution that will last, and that is God himself. But he continues in verse 7, that they may set their hope in God and not forget the works of God. Now, yesterday we talked about the connection between hope and praise, that praise strengthens our hope. But here, the psalmist makes a connection between hope and remembering to set your hope in God by not forgetting the works of God. Some translations here say the miraculous works of God. It's a, it's a Hebrew word that means the wonders of God. God has done some wonders, some miracles, some powerful works in your life and mine in times past. One of the, one of the challenges of humanity is we're short-sighted. We, um, we forget. We don't remember a lot of things. It was a problem for the children of Israel. It's a problem for us today. We don't tend to not remember the great things God's done, but psalmist is calling for us to remember the great things God does in the past, and that will help uh, set us up to hope in him for the future and to trust him and to believe that he can do great things in our life like he's done in the past in the moments and the days to come. Let's jump to Proverbs, Proverbs 16, 32. Better to be patient than powerful. That's a great phrase. Better to have self-control than to conquer a city. And so uh, another translation says it's better to win control over yourself than over whole cities. So in other words, if I can't deal with myself in terms of controlling myself, how am I going to control a city? It's, it's speaking politically. In fact, the message version says moderation is better than muscle. Another great phrase. Self-control better than political power. So the point today is to let patience win over power. The point for us today is rather than trying to move aggressively to deal with people, to deal with our circumstances, let's first step back and let patience rule the day. Moderation. Um, let's don't worry about trying to control for political purposes or any other purposes, the things beyond us, you know, people, things beyond us. Let's, let's let the Lord, remember self-control is a fruit of the Spirit. Let's walk in the Spirit, be filled with the Spirit, and have patience have patience in the decisions that we make today, that we would set our hope on God. In setting our hope on God, we would do that by remembering he is all powerful. He can make it happen. It's not for us to do that today. We're going to trust and hope in him. So let's pray. Lord, today we commit this day to you. Thank you that you are a God of all power. Lord, sometimes we forget that as well as forgetting what you've done in the past powerfully on our behalf. Lord, today, may we rest in you. May we be filled with you. We pray you'd fill us all with the Holy Spirit right now as we begin this day. And we ask you, Lord, to, um, to, to just move in us, our families, our church family, provide, protect, and direct as we always pray. We ask you to do that. But help us, Lord, to just walk in a rhythm of patience and peace today, trusting you to do the acts, the work, the miracles that need to be done on our behalf. We pray those things together in Jesus' name. Say amen with me, will you? Amen and amen. Well, have a great Tuesday. I look forward to talking to you again soon.